plastic pollution is wreaking havoc on the marine environment. Animals are getting entangled in floating debris, incidentally captured in ghost nets, and are even now ingesting plastic trash. New concerns have been raised about marine species' potential ingestion of large and consistent quantities of microplastics. Microplastics are small particles of plastic, many of which have broken down from larger trash over time. Filter-feeding marine animals like manta rays and whale sharks, which target small planktonic prey items resembling microplastics, may be particularly affected by this cryptic threat. Sadly, these species are already globally threatened and face extreme pressures from overfishing. In a first-of-its-kind study, researchers from the Marine Megafauna Foundation and our collaborators set out to investigate the impact of marine plastic pollution on these majestic species. The study, which was conducted in Indonesia, focused on areas of the country with large resident or seasonal populations of manta rays and whale sharks, like Nusa Penida MPA off Bali, the Komodo National Park, and East Java. Researchers tediously collected water samples using specialized nets, measuring levels of plastic pollution in known feeding grounds. Opportunistically, they also collected vomit and fecal samples from individual animals and examined their contents. Researchers were also able to verify for the first time that manta rays are ingesting plastic materials, predominantly small particles less than five millimeters in size, but also larger items up to 30 millimeters in size. Reef manta rays were observed swallowing trash as they fed in inshore surface waters, where current lines and swell caused both plankton and trash to aggregate in the same place. Researchers estimated that reef mantas and whale sharks, respectfully, may be ingesting up to 63 and 137 pieces of plastic per hour at these different feeding grounds. The most common type of plastic found were those used in plastic carrier bags and single-use packaging. While better waste management in these areas needs to be addressed, it is yet another glaring example of our need to cut down on single-use plastic products.